Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another, what should be another quick episode of FNAF News. I don't know if you've noticed, but FNAF News has kind of been a bit dead. We haven't gotten really anything. But you know what we do have a lot of? That's right, Johnny Blocks fan art, here you go! As always, I really do appreciate all the fan art you guys send my way. If you have some you want to send over, don't hesitate. I got Instagram, Twitter, Discord, you know, even here on YouTube. Hashtag Johnny Blocks. I'll make sure to find it. So let's not waste any more time. If you're brand new, double check. Make sure you're subscribed. I don't know why I said if you're brand new, because even if you are subscribed, sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe you. I know it's really stupid. So just double check. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like button and let's hop into the news. So first up, I mean, we have to talk about this. The brand new teaser for FNAF Plus, which if you don't know, is a official reimagining of the very first FNAF game. All all the way back in 2014. Now, while it isn't being made by Scott, he is overlooking the project. It is a part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. And slowly but surely, Fizdom, the creator of FNAF Plus, puts out a teaser every now and then once he reaches a certain threshold in the development of the game. And he made this tweet the other day saying, getting near the end of the animation and asset rendering for FNAF Plus. And I feel too proud of some of this stuff to keep everybody waiting for the finished gameplay. So I want to do something small and extra to celebrate the end of this long dev phase. Vote on what you'd like to see here. This poll runs for seven days. It is currently still active. I'll leave it linked down below. And I won't be tweeting anything else in the meantime too busy finishing animations. So make sure you spread it around. Very interested on what the results are going to be. The teaser will come when the animations are finished, not when the poll ends. And as you can see, this is the current poll results. Yes, I do want to see some in-game renders. Okay, leave me alone. But as you can see, the one short video teaser is currently in the lead. Again, you still have about four days to vote. I'll leave it linked down below. However, randomly out of the blue, not even for the poll, the FNAF Plus Twitter page was active with this very terrifying gif. And as you can see, it is Freddy looking into the camera, breathing, and it's, it's so terrifying. Honestly, this is super super scary i love the subtle animation i think it looks again absolutely terrifying and i can't wait to see what else the cameras are gonna look like however something i don't see many people bring up is that the caption for the tweet is cam 10. however there was no cam 10 in fnaf 1 only in fnaf 2 and fnaf 3. in actuality that is Cam 4B in the original FNAF. And as we saw from the Connection Arrow video back in September, this new reimagining of FNAF, FNAF Plus, is having a newly revamped map. As you can see, it has extra rooms, rooms in different places, and because of that, it does seem like the cameras will be shifting as well. So there you go, a terrifying gif of FNAF Plus. Let's move on. On the 28th, Help Wanted celebrated its two-year anniversary, and Steel Wall tweeted out, Happy birthday to Help Wanted. It's been an amazing two years of big scares with our favorite animatronic crew. Thanks to the amazing community willing to brave the Freddy's terrifying people, Pizzeria, what's your favorite memory from playing Help Wanted? And then they have this amazing, absolutely adorable uh, art for the anniversary. Unfortunately, no news on- I, I wasn't expecting any news on Security Breach. I was kind of hoping for some news on the Curse of Dreadbear ports. If you don't know, it's still not out on Switch and Xbox. So unfortunately, no update on that. Hopefully, we can get that soon. Taking a quick look at the new Funko Curse of Dreadbear merchandise. As you can see, Funko tweeted out this image, and you may recognize it. This is a zoomed out image of the teaser image we got before the official announcement for the new products. We were all hoping that the Foxy wasn't Grim Foxy and that maybe he was Captain Foxy and it turns out we were correct. I've made a whole video on the new products. If you missed it, it'll be linked down below. Go check it out. And I personally am very, very excited for the new products. I think they look amazing. All right, and now let's talk about Security Breach. While there hasn't been any new news, we do have an update on the Summer Games Festival, which it does seem Security Breach will be a part of even though we haven't had 100% confirmation. It's it's kind of an interesting subject, because Scott nor Steel Wool have said anything, Jeff Keighley, who is the host for the festival, has said something, but it's super vague and mysterious that we still don't fully understand what we're gonna see in the festival. However, it is approaching 
rapidly, right? We have about nine days until the event. It kicks off on Thursday, June 10th with a big, spectacular kickoff live show. Uh, and that is where we're going to see, hopefully, again, security breach. Now, earlier today, Jeff did tweet out working on editing a hashtag Summer Game Fest hype trailer for you guys. So let's hope SB is in this because I feel like if it isn't in that, then we may have a problem, right? I, I really do feel like it's gonna be in the festival. I know a lot of people have their doubts, but like, we've all made videos on it, we've all been talking about it for a super long time ever since it was announced. You know, it's become a big thing and the community's all hyped up about it, so I feel like Scott or Steel Wool would have said something by now, but they haven't. Again, maybe they're not allowed to say anything, maybe Jeff's not allowed to say anything, I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Again, we are getting very, very close to the date for the festival again, June 10th. So, I mean, man, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we see something. Because, again, it's been since February, you know, it's been delayed since then. So, I don't know, they said that was early footage in the gameplay trailer back in February. <clears throat> so, hopefully, they have some new footage to show off. I don't think we're going to get a release date. It still seems kind of soon to me, in my opinion. If you want to know more of my thoughts on the Summer Games Festival, again, I've done more videos on the topic linked down below. All right, Illumix, I see you. I see you. I see what you're trying to pull here. I see your shenanigans. Y'all know the routine. How's it going? I'm editing Johnny Blocks. As you could probably tell by my presence here, we got news while I was editing. The news in question is from Illumix Incorporated, the creators of Five Nights at Freddy's Augmented Reality Special Delivery. They released yet another puzzle piece uh, alluding to their up-and-coming skin for the game, which I can only assume will be releasing at the usual time on Thursday. It seemed like they released this puzzle piece kind of late in the day. I, I feel like they used to release the first piece earlier, but I could be mistaken. As per usual with the puzzle pieces, I can't freaking tell anything about this goddamn skin. I don't know what I'm trying to look at. I can take a guess and say that it's going to be yet another ocean themed skin because it looks well, I can see a lot of blue, and usually that is a telltale sign about the Wicked Tides event. So it seems like we are getting our third, maybe out of four skins in the Wicked Tides event. Which I believe this is the first time in the entire year of 2021, keep in mind that this is the sixth month, so we're halfway through the year, that a event has had more than only two skins. So I don't know, maybe they're going back to three, four skins in an event, I don't know. I kind of hope that we're getting a, uh, a character soon. Anyways, yeah, so that's Illumix. They're up to their usual shtick again. I guess we're getting a new skin in the next couple of days, so stay on the lookout for news about that. And now back to regularly scheduled Johnny Blocks FNAF news video. Well, actually, this is kind of the ending. This is the outro, so you're not really missing much. All right, see ya. And that's kind of everything I have to talk about today. Again, not many new news coming out for FNAF. It's kind of been dead a whole lot. Thankfully, that FNAF Plus uh, teaser came out, and again, we are getting very close to the Summer Games Festival, so we can kind of start theorizing, all right, what do we think we're going to see? Is Security Breach going to be in it in the first place? Uh, and again, you know, happy anniversary to Help Wanted and the upcoming Curse of Dreadbear Funko Pro products, which should be coming out. I don't know, man. The release date is all over the place. I think on GameStop, it's next month in July. On other websites, it's like August. You know, I think on Funko, it's October. So it's kind of all over the place. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.